So for those who, don't, who have not met me, my name is Tetch. My screen name on Facebook is Teresa. Screen name lang yun, but everybody calls me Tetch. Nanay ko, tawag na sa akin, Hoy. So I was born and raised in the Philippines. I'm the youngest of four children, but I'm the one who spent my life here in this house with my mom and dad because everybody else were either out of the country or married. This is my granddad's house. He passed away a long time ago. But I was born and raised here till I was about 11 or 12. You know, everybody on the street, I couldn't really talk at the dining table. It's more like you talk when you're spoken to. Being the youngest, who listens anyway, right? I know better, but sticking up for yourself and speaking up for yourself back then got a lot of judgments and labels. When I was younger, we didn't have all these buildings here. So as a, as a little girl, I would cross that big expressway that we were passing to walk to this school. My first emergency room trip was studying in that school. I got hit by an SUV. Nung grade 5 ako dito, nasagasaan ako dyan. Kasi diba dati one way to? Buti nga ngayon may ganyang sign na dapat meron sila noon panahon na yun. Ano? Every time I come home to Manila, it feels like home but it's not. I'm amazed at the changes, the progress, and yet some things never change. I see people who are living better lives and yet some people who are still suffering. It's always a duality. There's a disparity. The inspiration to bring it to the Philippines did not happen at the onset. It just so happened that it's my circle of friends. And when I started using essential oils, I was about to leave for a trip to the Philippines. When I felt and saw the changes in me and my life, I felt like I had to share it. It's impossible not to share. It would be selfish of me not to share that. And where are my loved ones? My loved ones here in the Philippines. It's just natural. I mean, you're, it's just sharing. Who do you share with first, right? And then it just grew exponentially. I didn't think it was going to be like this when I bought that first premium starter kit. This was beyond my wildest imagination. I can be very generous with my skills, my talents, my resources. I can help impact lives, make a difference. I feel that I'm not enough hours in the day to reach as many people as possible because there are many people who would benefit from it. I've always believed that you know we are given blessings, talents and skills not just for us to keep but to share. For me that meant empowering others. I believe in empowerment so this is another avenue, another way to empower people about their own health when we empower somebody, we give them also dignity and human pride. We allow them to accomplish things. We allow them to discover things in them they never thought they would. At the end of the day, I can close my eyes and say, I think I live my life well. There are people in the Philippines, my people, the people I grew up with, they need to hear it and their loved ones need to hear it. Because if I don't do it, who else will? Now that that little girl has found her voice, it needs to be heard. And that's it. Thank you very much. I hope to see many of you. That's what being a leader to me is.